What if we lived in a world where the moon and the sun swapped places? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. The consequences would be staggering and catastrophic. But here's an interesting take. What if we somehow survived all this? What would our life look like in such a new world? And what would happen to the solar system? Time to find out. Let's start with the moon. Did you know that the moon is responsible for the tides on Earth? You know, that thing where the ocean goes in and out like it's playing a game of beach volleyball? All thanks to our satellite's gravitational pull. The moon also helps stabilize Earth's rotation. It's pretty important if you don't want to end up like a certain planet that spins on its side. <laughs> Looking at you, Uranus. Plus, it acts as a shield, protecting us from some of the more harmful cosmic rays, asteroids, and space debris. It's like our personal bodyguard. And without our satellite, we might not be here cracking jokes and enjoying life at all. Some scientists think that the moon played a crucial role in the development of life on Earth. Without its gravitational pull, we could have a crazily erratic climate. Also, the moon could have redistributed water across our planet. And we all know that water means life. As for the sun, we all know how important it is. It provides light, heat, and energy for all the planets. But just like any good party host, the sun can get sometimes a little too intense. Never forget that it's an extremely powerful and massive star with a surface temperature of about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. If it wasn't for our ozone layer, we would all get burned instantly. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is about 93 million miles. Scientists took this distance and turned it into a unit of measurement, one astronomical unit, or AU. The closest distance that the Earth could approach the Sun without being completely destroyed is about 0.9 AU. At the same time, if we move too far, further than about 1.2 AU, our planet will turn into a snowball. So, we got pretty lucky with our location. Meanwhile, the distance between Earth and the Moon is about 0 0.002 AU, or 240,000 miles. It's super close to us. Now that we know how important these two are, and how much their position affects our world, let's try to swap them. Surely nothing bad will come of it. First, Let's imagine for a moment that the sun was in the moon's place. You probably already know what will happen to us. The intense heat and radiation from the sun would be like the world's worst sauna, with the temperature on Earth rising rapidly. Any living thing on Earth would leave behind nothing but a pile of ashes. But the destruction wouldn't stop there. The atmosphere and oceans would be stripped away by the solar wind, leaving the planet exposed and vulnerable to the radiation and particles coming from the sun. It would be like a giant space hairdryer on full blast, with Earth's atmosphere and oceans being blown away instantly. Forget about melting ice caps, the entire planet would be one big puddle. But that was a scientifically accurate answer. Boo, boring. Now, what if we could somehow survive this catastrophe? Like, what if we had some super advanced technology to protect us from being fried to a crisp? First up, even if our planet somehow survived, things would still get pretty toasty, since the sun would still emit way more heat and energy than the moon. Also, unlike the moon, which goes through periods of darkness during its lunar night, the sun has a constant energy source through nuclear fusion. So at least we wouldn't have to worry about freezing every night. We'd just be sweating buckets in our sleep. Of course, all this extra heat would have some serious effects on our ecosystems. Plants and animals would have to adapt to survive. And we might see some major changes in the way life on Earth operates. Imagine the confusion of nocturnal animals. Without the moon, they would have no idea how to navigate or hunt. So, what would we do in this new, super hot world? Well, maybe we could build some seriously high-tech greenhouses to trap all this heat. Or we could use some giant mirrors or other reflective surfaces 
to manipulate the amount of sunlight that Earth receives. Next, we have the sun's gravity. Remember how we said that the moon's gravitational pull is just right for stabilizing Earth's orbit? So, if we replace it with an entire star, things would get pretty wacky. We're talking about extreme changes in seasons, climate, and all sorts of weather-related shenanigans. Your everyday life would look like it's trying to do the cha-cha slide during an earthquake. The Earth's rotation would also speed up drastically. This means shorter days, longer nights, and lots of confusion with working hours and birthdays. So, is there any way to fix this? Well, hypothetically, we could use some massive spacecraft or other technologies to artificially adjust Earth's orbit and rotation. For example, we could launch rockets or space tugs that would slowly push our planet into a new orbit that's more stable and consistent. And that's not all! All this gravity play would also mean new tidal waves of epic proportions. We're talking waves so high that surfers would need oxygen tanks just to catch a ride. Imagine trying to sail a boat through a hurricane while riding a bucking bronco. <laughs> yeah, yeehaw! The moon also mixes up nutrients in the ocean and helps support marine life. So if we swap the sun for the moon, those nutrient-rich waters would be a thing of the past. The ocean would become a stagnant, lifeless soup, with nothing but algae and plankton to keep us company. We'd have to resort to eating seaweed sandwiches and drinking desalinated water just to survive. And let's be real, nobody wants to live in a world without sushi. So what do we do? Well, we could try to somehow artificially create tides or mimic the moon's gravitational pull on the ocean. Like using pumps or other mechanisms to move large volumes of water around in a way that creates a similar tidal effect. Or we could try to help marine life to adapt to the new, less nutrient-rich ocean. Maybe developing fish farming or aquaculture. Finally, don't forget about radiation. The sun is basically a radiation factory. It could seriously mess with our health and electronic devices. You think your phone is fragile now? Imagine what would happen with it under a giant solar flare. So we'd need some seriously advanced shielding technology to protect us. We're talking materials that can withstand temperatures hotter than a jalapeno's backside and magnetic fields powerful enough to deflect charged particles. Oh, and tons of sunscreen. In summary, if we replace the moon with the sun and somehow manage to avoid catastrophic consequences, it would be a completely different world than what we know. But it wouldn't just be the Earth that would feel these effects. So what would happen to the rest of our solar system? For starters, if the Sun, with its crazy gravitational pull, took the Moon's place, it would start seriously messing with the other planets' orbits. They might be sent careening off in random directions, like bumper cars. The planets would also have some taste of the Sun's fiery personality. They would have to deal with all the radiation and charged particles. Lastly, the Sun's magnetic field is incredibly strong. And if it took the moon's place, the other planets would be forced to dance to its tune. This could cause electrical storms, auroras, and other crazy electrical effects everywhere. And what would happen to the moon itself? Unfortunately, its reign in the center of our solar system won't last too long. Most likely, it will either start orbiting the sun and be eaten by it, or simply fly away like a free bird. So there you have it, a cosmic prank gone horribly wrong. What can we say? Let's just be thankful that such a scenario isn't physically possible, and instead, enjoy the beautiful moon and the life-giving sun from a safe and comfortable distance. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.